On this worksheet, we're going to be calculating hydronium ion concentrations um, from hydroxide concentrations, and we'll be using that information to determine whether or not the solution is acidic or basic. In order to solve these types of problems, we need to be using the KW equation, KW, the, um, the uh, dissociation constant for water, which tells us, it gives us the relationship between the hydronium ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration for any solution at all. Again, this H3O plus, this is called hydronium and OH minus called hydroxide. For any solution at all, the hydronium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration is one times 10 to the minus 14. So if we know the H3O plus concentration, we can calculate the OH minus concentration or vice versa. In this first problem, what we know is the OH minus concentration, and we're being asked to solve the H3O plus concentrations. We know this number right here, and we're just trying to figure out what this number might be. So we know that one times 10 to the minus 14 is the H3O plus concentration times the OH minus concentration. And we know that the OH minus concentration is 2.0 molar, so we can do some rearranging here. We can say that Kw, 1 times 10 to the minus 14, divided by our OH minus concentration, which is 2.0, that's going to give us the H3O plus concentration. 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 2, which I feel like I should have been able to do in my head, is 5 times 10 to the minus 15. That's the concentration of H3O+. Now, the next problem is asking us to determine whether or not this solution is acidic or basic. A solution is acidic if the H3O plus concentration is greater than the OH minus concentration. So if we have H3O plus greater than OH minus, that makes it acidic. If we have it the other way around, if the OH minus concentration is greater, that would make the solution basic. So to answer this question, we need to know the relationship between the H3O plus concentration and the OH minus concentration. We have 5 times 10 to the minus 15 molar for H3O plus, and we have 2 molar OH minus. So the OH minus solution is definitely greater than the H3O plus, and that means that this solution is basic. Again, that is because the OH minus concentration is greater than the hydronium concentration. We've got two more problems that are pretty similar. What is the H3O plus concentration of a solution that has this OH minus? So we can use this format of the equation again. The H3O plus concentration is going to be Kw, 1 times 10 to the minus 14, over the hydroxide concentration, 1 times 10 to the minus 14, over 6.2 times 10 to the minus 3. 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 6.2 times 10 to the minus 3 is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 12. And if we want to determine if they're acidic or basic, we want to compare the H3O plus concentration to the OH minus concentration. Our H3O plus concentration is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 12. That's what we just calculated. The OH minus is 6.2 times 10 to the minus 3. OH minus concentration, again, is greater than H3O plus, and that makes this solution also basic.